Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Three Months of Modal Logic, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic, kind of a logic 201. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Deontic Non-Contradiction Challenge. So, we've made it a little bit of a ways through our series on Deontic Logic. What I want to do now is give you a bit of a challenge to try on your own dealing with Deontic Logic. This challenge is not for the faint of heart, it's for people who have an understanding of basic predicate calculus and think they've grasped some of the basic concepts of deontic logic and want to give it a try. So, there's another axiom that we're going to add to our deontic logic. It's called the deontic non-contradiction axiom. This axiom is equivalent to a logical description of either the deontic square or the deontic trifold classification. In fact, all three are logically equivalent to each other. Your task is to prove the DNC is equivalent to either logical description, or both of them. In the next couple of videos, we're going to give proofs of why the DNC is equivalent to the deontic square and equivalent to the deontic trifold classification. Let's take a look. So the DNC, here's what I'm going to call the DNC, the deontic non-contradiction axiom. This is the final axiom that we're going to admit into our standard deontic logic. It's not the case that it's obligatory that P and it's obligatory that not P. This makes sense. It shouldn't be the case that we have to do a contradiction, that we have to do P and that we have to do not P. There's some important differences between this and the omissibility of contradictions axiom that we're going to talk about in a couple videos later. But for now, just know that this is the axiom we're going to be admitting to our system, and your job is to prove this from the deontic square and from the deontic trifold, and vice versa. So, the deontic square, we're going to offer this as the logical kind of description of the square. First off, we have the two contradictories that obligatory is equivalent to not omissible and impermissible is equivalent to not permissible. Then we have our contrary. It's not the case that something is both obligatory and impermissible. And we have our subcontrary. It's not the case that something's not permissible and not omissible. And then we have our two subalternations, which we're going to create in the form of implications. If something is obligatory, that implies it's permissible. And if something is impermissible, that implies that it's omissible. Your task is to use this to prove the DNC and then use the DNC to prove this with the help of our definitions of deontic terms and the tools you have from the 100 days of logic. It may seem like a long, complicated proposition, but it's just a lot of different conjunctions. And some of those conjunctions are going to be really easy to prove. So, Next up, once you've done that, the next step of the challenge is to prove this long proposition from the DNC and vice versa. It's called the deontic trifold. Basically, all it's going to say here is that our three options, obligation, optional, and impermissible, are mutually exclusive but conjunctively exhaustive. So, together, any proposition has to be either obligatory, optional, or impermissible. And nothing can be obligatory and impermissible, obligatory and optional, and nothing can be optional and impermissible. <clears throat> Once again, your task is to prove the DNC from this and use this to prove the DNC. To put it another way, I want you to prove these two statements, that the DNC is equivalent to the logical description of the deontic square, and that the DNC is equivalent to the logical description of the deontic trifold. It looks like a tough challenge. It's actually not that hard when you get down to it. I challenge you to do this. If you're curious for the solutions, check out the next videos. We're going to be talking about the deontic square solution. Watch a new video every single day for yet another 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.